IT seems like a case of deja vu as we have heard it all before. First look at ambitious city center development plans as council launch consultation, Tuesday. The council ought to start with Socky Hill Street as that street has become nothing but a complete eyesore in recent years. The Halen Man's umbrella is not much better and often resembles an unkempt camping site with Argyle Street and Trongate not looking much better. The council ought to start with these areas rather than looking to draft grandiose plans for the likes of Bothwell Street or West George Street. How much will all of these plans cost and where is the cash coming from to fund such large-scale projects as the City Council can no longer depend on significant funds from the EU for public realm projects once the UK is no longer a member of the EU? JPB 2019 Posted online IT was good to hear Boris Johnson give a guarantee that there will not be a Scottish independence referendum if the Conservatives win the forthcoming general election. He also pledged that any request to hold in Diaf 2 would be rejected with no negotiation. Nicola Sturgeon constantly says that the people of Scotland have a right to determine their future by having an independence referendum. Well the fact is we already held a referendum in 2014 and the people of Scotland said a resounding no to independence and that should have been the end of the matter for a generation as agreed at the time by the SNP. There is no doubt that Scotland is much stronger and better as part of the United Kingdom. And I don't see why the people of Scotland should be dragged into another independence referendum just because Nicola Sturgeon did not like the result of the referendum in 2014. Jason Findlay. Glasgow. IT's great news that so many jobs will be coming to the city. Glasgow's talent pool was key to New Bartley's bank base, which will create around 2,500 jobs. Wednesday. Shug McKenzie. Posted online. Well done to head teacher Scott Smith for his decision to take part in a skydive to raise funds to send Lyra Jenkins on a dream trip to Florida, Evening Times, Wednesday. What a kind man he is. I hope he raises enough money to help the family. Name and address supplied for more on this story, visit the news article link.